Lawmakers from opposing parties came together this morning, hoping to change the way that sexual harassment is dealt with at the Minnesota State Capitol. DFL Senator Dan Schoen and Republican Representative Tony Cornish announced their plans to resign after facing several accusations from various women, including a lawmaker and a lobbyist. WCCO's Mary McGuire joins us live from the State Capitol with more. And Mary, this is a bipartisan effort, right? It is Susan Elizabeth and today's uh, announcement was a direct response to that sexual harassment scandal that rocked the state capitol last month. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle came together this morning to outline the changes they would like to see happen when it comes to sexual misconduct investigations and accusations. Democrat State Representative John Lesh of St. Paul and Republican Representative Marion O'Neill of Maple Lake laid out a proposal that allows anyone, including lobbyists and activists, working at the Capitol to bring forward accusations. It also expedites the investigation process. Representative O'Neill says that while she hasn't seen or experienced sexual harassment at the Capitol, she knows what it's like and did experience intense sexual harassment while she was in her 20s. Now, the representatives say that they will bring the new proposal to the House floor on the first day of the new session in February. The Rules Committee will then vet that proposal before it is voted on in February. Now, the resignations of those two state legislators, Dan Schoen and Tony Cornish, that uh, prompted a special election, and that will happen in February. Susan Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Mary.